Cougar fans, and uh, thank you for joining us on Avery University 101. I'm Assistant Sports Information Director Davin Wilson, and I'm joined here today by Avery Football Head Coach Cleve Adams. Cleve, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. And you, you always mention that Avery is always concerned about not so much looking forward to the next opponent, but worrying about what you guys have to clean up and about what you guys are doing right. What are some of the things that you guys have been looking at that you're doing right, and what are some of the things that you've been looking at that you're doing wrong? Well, um, to be honest with you, when we sat back and we look at our football team after the first week, three weeks of competition, it's obvious that we had to clean up the defensive side of the ball without a doubt. So we've looked at um, what we're doing defensively. We looked at some things from a staffing standpoint. And uh, basically just getting back to the fundamentals of defense and, and moving some pieces around to try to get some uh, better pieces on the field and uh, taking care of that aspect of it. Uh, from an offensive perspective, we, we, we felt pretty good about who we are, what, what our identity is, but we feel like we have to balance up the run-pass ratio a little bit. So we've been basically fa focusing on those type of things. Okay. And it's been, you mentioned that it's been, you know, three weeks off and obviously, you know, disappointed not to get in that first game against LaGrange. How have the guys uh, adapted to having such a, a normal amount of time off? Well, honestly, to be, they're eager to play. And that's understandable coming off an open week. But just like anything else, we, we have to adapt as coaches. We have to adapt as players. We have to adapt as a program. And, and we just basically put a positive spin on it. We, we basically were afforded a little bit more time to get healthy. And uh, we are afforded a little bit more time to work on Avery University football and take care of some of the little things we feel like are going to make a difference moving forward. Okay. And Kelly has really done, uh, Kelly Hall has really done a great job stepping up, filling in the role that was left open by the injury of Drew Evans. How impressed have you been with his play since he's taken over the reins of the offense? Well, uh, to be honest with you, it's not a huge surprise to us. We Kelly came to us in the spring, last spring, and, and had an unbelievable spring. Uh, the thing about Kelly Hall is Kelly Hall is a competitor. He's a true football player, uh, 100%. And uh, the guys are starting to rally around his energy and, and, and his effort on the field and off the field, how he works on the field, how he works in the film room. So it's not a major surprise. The big thing with Kelly for us is basically coaching him up to control the football game, manage the football game, and not try to, to win it in one snap. So if he does those things, he's going to continue to get better. Uh, he's starting to win the trust of his teammates in terms of uh, being the guy, uh, and, and we're excited about that. Okay. And uh, you've got your first conference game coming up Saturday against Methodist. How do, can you speak a little bit on that game? Oh, absolutely. Um, again, Methodist, I think in the, in the last three years, uh, the program has come a long way. Coach Goss has done an unbelievable job down there turning that program around. And, and, and they're, they're a team that you know when you line up against them, they're going to be well coached. They're going to play extremely hard. They're extremely athletic. Um, they, they do enough offensively to, to stretch you pretty thin from horizontally and vertically. Defensively, they're unbelievable, unbelievably athletic. Uh, so we just look forward to it. I think we match up athletically with those guys, and, and, and we look forward to the opportunity to get back on the field. I really don't care who it is, but uh, fortunately it's going to be Methodist University this, this weekend, but we're fortunate to, to get back on the field and, and um, compete a little bit. Okay. And the team is averaging 329 yards uh, passing per game. What has been the, the factor to that success? Well, to, to be perfectly honest with you, when we, when we looked at the football team coming into the season, we knew that the, the strongest position group on our football team was our wide receiver core. Uh, we're, we're legitimately 2D um, in, uh, in, in that particular position. Uh, the guys know what they're doing. They're consistently grading out higher than anyone on the football team in practice. So that's not a surprise to us. Uh, the, the big deal is, and then the other thing is our offensive line from last year to this year. Those guys are understanding protection. They're, they're working well together. A lot of those guys have a year under their belt. So our quarterbacks are not running around back there for, for their lives like they were last year. So I think those two things uh, in, in combination is making a huge difference in our passing game. Okay. 
And Hunter Shepard, you know, been a big, big factor for you guys on defense this year. Has 30 tackles altogether. I, th I believe it was 20 solo and 10, and, mm -hmm. 10 assisted. Mm -hmm. uh, can you discuss his performance? Uh, again, uh, a sophomore, he, he, he ended up starting for us maybe around midway through the season, season last year, so he has experience. Uh, but he's an unbelievably intelligent football player. He he is like the quarterback of the defense from the front seven. I mean, he's he's gonna he's gonna make sure that that we're lined up. He understands his assignment. He understands the assignments of his teammates around him. So that affords him an opportunity to anticipate and make plays where other players may just be worried about their world. He can see things before they happen. I just see him getting better and better as the season progresses. Okay, and. Uh, how nice is it to have that first conference game at home? Oh, it's it's absolutely critical. Um, we feel like that that we have something to prove from a program standpoint after the first three games. Uh, I don't think that's representative of who we are as a football program. Uh, to be here in Danville in the, in the, in, on Daly Field uh, in the Cougar Den is just unbelievable atmosphere. Our, our uh, athletic department does an unbelievable job putting on an event. The community comes out to support us. So all those things, our parents, um, the whole nine yards, it's just a, a, a wonderful atmosphere to play in, and our guys absolutely enjoy and, and love the opportunity to be at home uh, anytime we're, we're scheduled to be here. Well, Coach, that's all I got for you today. I uh, appreciate you sitting down and taking the time with us. And fans, I appreciate you guys watching at home. And once again, I'm uh, Assistant Sports Information Director Davin Wilson, and we'll see you next week here on 101.